Hey guys, I'm Viknesh and welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone are doing good. So in today's video, we will be seeing the last available transformation functions in Apache Beam. That is side inputs and side outputs or additional outputs. So what is side inputs? Side inputs are nothing but in addition to our main input P collection, we can provide additional inputs to the part two transformation in the form of side inputs. So if you wanted to uh, send additional input to our pipeline in the along with the P collection, we will be using this side input functions. So basically side input function inherits like it will be passed as part of the part two transformation function. If you don't know what is part two transformation, I have covered part two and do function as part of this playlist. You can take a look at it and this side inputs where the do function can access it can access each time the process um, the do function will access each time it processes up an element in the input p collection so this is what side input is why side, like when will be the side input like side inputs will be useful so basically if you wanted to inject additional data to your pipeline apart from the p collection we'll be using the side input function to uh, to pass side input function to pass the additional element into our pipeline and uh, basically this additional input or the side input will not be an hard coded value and it will be called at during the runtime it will be determined at the runtime so uh, side inputs basically it will be smaller in size it not it, no, it will not be as large as p collection because it is an uh, uh, because it will be kept in memory as part of the worker nodes so this is what side inputs it uh, once we start, once we implement it in practically, you will be able to understand what is side inputs in more, in much more depth. And before covering it in practical, we will see what is additional outputs or side outputs. Similarly, the way but what side inputs, you know, if you wanted to uh, give many input input uh, input elements to our pipeline, the same way we can give, uh, uh, we can write it to multiple uh, p collection files, or we can write it to multiple uh, um, output p collection or output p collection that also will be passed as part of the part do function where our do function uh, it will access each time in the processes of an element in the output collection as well so basically the output collection or if we have multiple outputs so it will be bundled together as part of the p collection later point we have to code it explicitly to get the data out of it so i have given some links out of it uh, if you want you can go through it also um, I guess it uh, like I'll show it how to implement it practically for sure for implementing it practically we'll be using Google Colab um, Google Colab and uh, Apache Beam Python SDK so this is my Google Colab I'm installing this Apache Beam and I'm importing Apache Beam as Beam so this pipeline I'm creating an instance of object for in calling our pipeline beam dot pipeline so this students dot exclude txt and students age dot txt before continuing i just wanted to tell you what is what the data is present in students underscore exclude and students underscore age so this is my students underscore age so this is my id one two three four and this is my name this is the location and this is the age what does the student underscore exclude can it basically it has the id of the date it, id of the students one three seven nine so my objective is I wanted to um, out of this data in this data I wanted to I'll be passing the students underscore exclude as part of an uh, input file along with the p collection main p collection file and I wanted to filter the data which is um, which is not present in this students underscore exclude so basically in my output p collection should be 2 4 5 6 7 8 and 10 excluding this excluding this four digits i should have six digits in my output p collection so i'm just uh, importing uh, calling this um, students underscore exclude and i'm storing it as an input underscore list this is 1379 now i'm calling the, i'm creating a split row function um, where it is passed as part of the part do part do transformation function which inherits the do function so it, i have created a custom function here process it takes input p collection and the side input file side input file is nothing but this this for input file input underscore list so i'm create um, basically 
I'm just separating the data on the comma side. I'm filtering out like my first column in the students underscore age. This is student ID. If that is not present in the input list, then return the customer. So I'm reading a pipeline, read from the text. And inside the part do function, I'm passing this split row and that is element P1 and the input list. The input list basically I'm passing as part of part do function and I'm writing it to this data underscore output p dot run will be triggering like to run my pipeline and uh, now when i see the data i i can see one three five one three seven nine is not present in my data this is the output i hope this makes sense uh, you understood what is side input and how to implement it using in apache beam so the next function is uh, side outputs and additional outputs so in this file uh, we will be creating, uh, we will be writing it three different P collections and we will be bundling, unbundling it later. So I just wanted to uh, do one filter, one like one filter, the students from Chennai and the students name who starts with letter R and the rest of the students who's not part of Chennai. So this is the three different P collection. I'm just returning, um, I'm creating this uh, uh, exclude list and I'm uh, like site underscore list. I'm storing it and I'm creating this split row. So this will split on the dead. And if the customer is not in the child list, it will return the customer uh, based on the ID. And then I'm this is where my uh, right with outputs. This is the additional outputs or uh, you can say side outputs. So this names which starts with R. I'm passing a R and Chennai customer like Chennai customer or Chennai student. So I'll rename it as Chennai student for better understanding. So Chennai student who's part of Chennai, I'll be storing that in this Chennai underscore student and um, other students uh, who's not a part of Chennai, you know, will have stored that other that data in this other underscore student. So I have written that function here. If element two equal to equal to country, if you see my element two students and element two, this is zero, one is zero, ID is zero, name is one. And this is my country or state or location. This is CHN is my second element. So I'm creating element equal to equal to country. Get that element. And rest all the element. I'll be storing it into other underscore student. This other underscore student. And if the element one, again, I'll be searching on this name. If the name starts with R, I'll be tagging that output in the names underscore R. So I am reading that file. I'm creating a split row and side list 1379 and then beam.pardo process customers. This is my uh, can this is my uh, logic where I'll be implementing the side output and this is CHN. So this will be calling in this function country CHN and starts with R. You can use it parameter as well. Like I can use uh, start with R. I can use like that and I can call this directly here or uh, you can directly call or like it's all, it's all it depends on the coder or who is developing the code so I'm storing this all this data CHN um, in this Chennai student this is my main file and the other student will be this uh, the students which is not from the country CHN will be stored in this other student and the students whose name starts with R will be stored in this uh, instance all this will be part of this customers i as i told you earlier everything will be bundled together and we will be unbundling it with this customers dot chennai customer will get who's the customer from chennai customers dot other student the students who is not from other countries no so those like this part when i call this function will like this is the one which will get this output and else part will get this output and the third condition if condition if condition will get this output basically i'm creating three different p collection and i'm writing to it writing to text and if chennai underscore customer i can see one data uh, so chennai cat before that uh, if you see i have implemented this split row function also like in this example, I'll be, I'll be, I'm using both side input as well as side output. I just copied whatever the code which, which I show you for side input. No? So I'll be co calling that that as well here. Split part do, split underscore sign and part do process. This function, this line will ex will do that uh, side input or additional output work, and this file, this code will do that uh, side input thing. 
so now if you see apart from that 1379 apart from this forget or this data will not be present 1379 what are the data which is present from Chennai so 10 size data is present in Chennai rest everything data will be as part of this and the name who's which starts with R no Ross so basically I did I hope uh, I know this is a lot to process but if you see a couple of times uh, two or three times you will be very clear on this topic so, yeah so that's it for today's video I hope you learn something uh, new from this video uh, if you have any questions or comments you just uh, drop those in the comment section I'll take a look at it and explain you and that's it uh, please do like comment share and subscribe to cloud and AI analytics Please do not forget to uh, click on the bell icon. I'll meet you on the next video uh, with new content. Until then, it's bye from Viknesh. Happy learning.